Okay. With the arms and legs blushing, we'll pick up some of this again. I start with the elbows. Okay. And blend. Again, it's not real significant. Just a slight, as you can see there, slight blush. Um, you, you can do the tops here of the arms, which sort of represents if a baby's wearing um, something which is a little bit tight-fitting, um, which is good. I mean, it's not good as tight-fitting, but you know what I mean. Um, just a, a little bit more detail, okay? And I also, at this point, do my flex areas. Now, flex areas are parts that open and shut frequently, such as here, in the, between the elbow. Just blend, you can see there, it's very vague. And another area is the wrist. That opens and shuts quite frequently in babies. So, just blend that. And then we are going to do, okay. With bent fingers, I generally leave this parts down here unpainted because if, if you flex your, um, bend your own fingers or clutch your own fingers you'll see that the blood supply doesn't go through to that part of the the um, the fingers this isn't completely clutched closed so I'll yeah should show you on a clutched hand that's where we would do the blushing is just there down the bottom and leave even the knuckles and a little bit under the knuckles just blank, uh, blank. so this other one's not so we will continue with our blushing now if you find that the blush is perhaps a little bit too light for hands you can always mix some of this paint in I'll just put some over here to show you And just take one scoop of that one. Just darken up a little bit. So sort of more rosy colour. And just to give you a little bit of difference, I'm doing the palms of the hands with this one. So just putting a little bit of colour there. And then blending. like that. And going back to the lighter colour for the fingers and thumb. And just a little bit here. Now if you did have a flex point here, like you would with the fletched hand, I should have done that one actually so i show you. Um, you really give more inten intense colour where the closing in. Closing is. <laughs> Doing well, Anne. So we're just, at this point in time, just going over the little fingers. And I don't want anything dramatic in the way of reds. Just a little hint is all that's needed. Um, I don't really think it needs that much of a um, blend. And just do this part. Avoid the nails because you've already done the nails in your shading colour. So we're just going ahead with these. 
just on top there. And that's just, <laughs> start, start again, just to differentiate, I'm taking the slightly darker colour for the top of the hand, just to give it a little bit more three dimension. And that's it as far as that goes. Not overdone. Flex points are not overdone. That's fine. Now with this clenched one, I wanted to show you what I meant. Oh dear, it's stuck. There we go. So, what I meant by it is that we'll get the normal red that we mixed up. And we'll just go ahead here. But below that, Okay, we'll leave it blank. I've been doing it in camera all this time. Then you will blush here. This is the effect you'll get. I'm just blushing. This one can be blushed completely because it's it is extended. So this is the result that you would get. I'll just zoom in for a bit. I don't know if you can see, but there's your light part there, and below the fingers, and then the rest is blushed. In this area here, if this finger was down and it was like so, right in there you'd do with the dark, the darker red, the darker colour there, because it would be more intense. Okay, so there, if that was down. Um, but it's not down, so we don't do it. Simple. Okay, so I'm just going to do one foot with you guys. Uh, let me do. Okay, and I'll start with the light colour again and just do a little bit of colouring on the knee and blend. So it's, it's really pale, right? Um, you can, again, you can do the tops of the legs. Just by painting some colour on there. Blush area. And see, by the time I've done one section, the other section's dry, so... And I have got the blend flow mixed in with it but it doesn't seem to make a difference all right so just behind the knee it's another flexed area that flexes I call them flex points so and I'd just blend that in in between the little fat rolls of fat you can put some blushing, just like that, and blend it along. Okay, so another flex point around the ankles. You can put some on the top of the little ankle bone as well. Okay. And then do the instep and the little toes underneath. Actually might get a little bit of the darker one here for this application. And the little meaty areas here. Or fleshy areas, whatever you wish to call them. And the heel of the foot. Okay. Like 
the degree course again. That looks cute. Getting the lighter colour again. We're going to do the little toes on top. Not the nails, just the toes. And a little bit just below the toes. And blend. If we feel it needs a second application, then add it. Okay. Have a look under just to make sure that they're all nice and pink, which they are. Have a look at your knee again and if you think it needs more, you can add more. Personal preference, I'm leaving mine as is. And that's your blushing done. So, I hope you benefited something from all this. After this blushing, because the babies are olive toned, I am not going to add on any more colours. Um, I am going to let them sit for 24 hours and um, to make sure that they've really, really cured. And then I am going to apply. I'll still be using this, although I have come across the Americana um, uh, Soft Touch Varnish. Okay, so that sounds good too. But I'm going to continue with what I know at this stage before I experiment around with the other. Plus I've got bottles, bottles of this. So I will be doing the... AKA Interactive Ultra Varnish Matte completely and let it dry. If there's still any shiny spots that I've missed, I will go over them again. But other than that, and that also gives it a very nice soft feel, although this vinyl is very, very soft. Um, you're done. Oh, apart from hair. Okay, guys, I'll catch you up with the next video.